Hey guys, and welcome back to some video of our Let's Play on Terraria. Today what we're doing is we are going to be um, doing some searching for some little worms. Now, the reason why I say that is because uh, some of you will either completely understand this, or some of you won't understand it at all. Now, in the last video, what we did is we defeated the um, the frost. Well, we didn't defeat the frost moon. We did. We got to wave uh, four or five or something like that, and then we died. Um, and then we also um, had a solo eclipse the second it ended. So, yes, it was a pretty hectic video, full of a lot of uh, killing. Unfortunately, we didn't get a sword, but oh well. Um, it was kind of annoying. Anyway, today what we're going to do is we are going to be um, well, we're, not probably, we're not, most likely not going to summon it or even get anywhere close to defeating it. But we're going to have an attempt at going towards the next boss, which I believe is the only boss left for me to kill. Now, there is technically two bosses left that I need to kill. There is Duke Fishron, which is the one that we're going to um, aim for to sort out today. And we've also got uh, the Brain of Cthulhu. The only problem is, with the Brain of Cthulhu, I have a Corruption World. And the Brain of Cthulhu only spawns in a Crimson World. If you see over here, I've only got uh, the purple stuff. You need the red stuff. Now, technically, what I could do is I could just bring it into this world. But I don't know if you... If, I don't know if you guys want me to do that. But it's just a simple boss. It's not going to be difficult to defeat because it was a pretty hard mode one. It was basically the, the equivalent to the um, Eater of Worlds, but just for the Crimson, that's all it really is. Anyway, to get Duke Fish wrong, what we need to do is we need to uh, do a long winded step of processes. Which is why I don't think we're going to do it today, but we can have a go. Um, now, I think we need one of these. Now, I've never actually used one of these, well, I think I have a very long time ago, and I can't remember how to do it, so let's have a go. I'm also going to open these up, because why not? So let's have a quick look. I'm probably going to throw a lot of stuff away, because I don't really need a lot of it. Oh well. What is that? Started before. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, so I got all this stuff. I thought I might as well just open them because it'd be easier. Um, because it's after Christmas now, we're not going to bother doing it again, I don't suppose. So, I'll quickly put this away. I'm going to get rid of these because I don't really want them. Get rid of them because I've already got a set of them. Get rid of them because I don't like them. And other than that, now I need to figure out where I'm going to put everything. Put these in here, because I don't know what else to do with them for now. These here. These here. I want to see if I can put that start up on a tree or something. Because I think we might have a spare one, but we'll see. Anyway. Um, so what we need to do is we need to find an underground mushroom biome. Now, I have seen a few of them before. There were some down here. You see where these green bits are. The only issue is, when I was clearing this place out to make it um, ready for the hot so it's hollow... I had to get rid of it all first, so obviously it's all turned green. So I need to find uh, ones like this here. Shouldn't be a little bit annoying, but I think that's probably our only bet to go for that one there. I mean, I don't know if there's any other ones. I mean, there's probably loads of them hidden in this stuff here. I mean, there's one there. I saw look up this happening again. Maybe not then. Never mind. How lucky are we? Okay, never mind. Hey, it's raining again, jeez. I don't think this could have... I don't think I've ever seen a solar eclipse happen this close together in the same world. That is ridiculous. Well, that means we have to get a sword then. Okay, forget everything I've just said, we're doing this again apparently. I might cut this a bit because obviously we did this last video and we did it's basically the exact same thing that we're gonna do. So I might cut it up a bit. Just so when we get some interesting stuff. Maybe just to the end of it, I don't know, we'll see. Depends on how long the episode needs to go on for, so. Yeah, we'll see about that. I cannot believe that. That is ridiculously lucky to have two of them in basically the space of 40 minutes because I'm going to say like I'll leave the game for 20 minutes after the video while I edit it and stuff and then I'll shut it down like halfway through editing but that is ridiculous to get to get two solar eclipses basically right next to each other in the same set of two days that's ridiculous I had it before once where I joined my world there was a solar eclipse I joined my friend's world three minutes afterwards and there was a solar eclipse then I draw my other friend's world three, three minutes after it was solo cuts. But I've never had it in the same world before. So that means if we don't get a sword here, there's going to be something seriously wrong with this. And that means we're going to get a lot more presents, aren't I? Oh dear. Come on, someone's got to drop something. I mean, they're dropping presents. I should have looked up how, many, how often they do actually drop it. I think it's like 1 in 160. But obviously I wasn't expecting it to happen, so I thought I had more time to prepare for this. Otherwise... See, if I knew that you'd do this every bloody day, then I knew that I would have I would have prepared for this. But we didn't know, so... I don't know. I just find it a bit crazy, if I'm honest. 
Run. That guy in there's gonna die. Yep. I like how it's just long enough so that they um, only just get killed by the time they've executed it. Oh, let's do this now. Go again. It's surprising how this cloud thing does more damage than I do. Yet my sword is supposed to do more damage than the cloud. Which I don't get. Yeah, there's vampires here. So we've got, we're getting more enemies the further we are away from this thing. That guy just died immediately. Oh, that, that, we, got, we got it. Yes. Didn't even see that on the ground until I picked it up. But I saw it a second before I picked it up. There we go. So automatically, this is already going better than before. Can we try and sneak in another one? Probably not, but we'll find out. I don't even know what... I wanna know what, um, where the sun is. Okay, it's midday, so... We might have a chance to get another one, I don't know. Depends what our chances are. I mean, I doubt we're gonna be this lucky. That was a fail. There we go. I mean, that seemed to only work because I was far away from this candle. So I'm gonna try doing that. Bad. There's a lot of vampires. There we go. Yeah, but I feel like I'm having better luck just running along the floor killing them, rather than sitting there. The only reason I didn't do that in the first instance, like when they first attacked me, is because I obviously had a really bad sword at that point. So, it was kind of useless trying to do that because I just kept getting killed. Also dying, which is a bad thing. Ow, what's hit me there? The only problem is, like I said, it's kind of boring just sitting here, but not much else I can do without dying. The vampires are the ones that are actually dealing any damage to because they jump off. It's dropped a bat wing, I think. I don't really need that. I think I've already got one as well. Anyone else going to drop anything? I doubt it. That's a lot of stuff to stuff. I've got two bat wings. I want the vampires to drop. Oh dear. Let's kill you first because you're going to be main annoying thing. Yeah, I need the vampires to drop like a moonstone or something. They drop something that's ridiculously powerful that improves all my stats. So I want to see if I can get that. I mean, I doubt it, but I will. Because it is it is quite a rare drop, so... No expecting to get it, but... But the amount that's coming at me compared to what I used to get in this game. I'm assuming it could get better. Did I get my money back? I don't think I did. I'll get it in a second. More of these. More power. There we go. More magic stuff down there. The problem with this is it's very tedious if um, you don't have a good setup, like I do, because I don't have a good setup right now. But oh well. That's why I'm going to be cutting bits out of this, I can keep saying, because you've already seen this. You've technically seen it three times, but obviously one of them was out in the last video, so it's pointless making you watch all through it again. I'm gonna head down on the ground for a quick second. No money down here, good. I don't want to um, fight in here because I don't want to get from plants, but at this point, I don't think it really matters. And is anyone else gonna drop anything? Frankenstein die really easily. I thought it was the other way around. Go away. There go. I'm killing all my plants. Too bad. Ah, oh, there go all the fire things. Every single one of my plants is going to die. Good thing about this is I'm constantly picking up the stuff as well. Which can actually be quite bad, because then if um, if I miss something, then I won't really know where it is. I think, compared to the Swamp Things, and the, like, the Swamp Things, in contrast to the Frankensteins, I think they do drop a different amount of the swords, they can have a different drop rate of the swords, but I don't know what that drop rate is. I think one of them drops it more often. And I thought the eyes all dropped them as well, but I don't know. But obviously the eyes all turn up a lot rarer, so if they do, then they're not going to drop them very often. So it'll be harder just to find them anyway. I've been going on for 16 minutes now, jeez. No wonder I'm cutting this up. That means it should be over by now, surely. Can we get another sword? 
means the bonus, but can we still get it? The problem is with this video, well, the problem is with just like where we are now, it's night time right now, and it's gonna be night time again when we, in like, when this thing, when this thing finishes. So, it's always gonna be in night time no matter what. Oh man. Getting murdered. See, I'm killing a lot of things, but compared to what I actually need to be killing, it's not really much. Which is kind of annoying. I feel like the water candle probably is helping me out, but I don't know. It's just not helping me out as much as I thought it would. It's nearly over yet? I don't even know what time it is. And there's no way to find out for the minute. I don't know why the swamp things go in there. Ah, oh, and no, I up. He's gonna die down there quickly, though. Right. Right. Anything else? There's a lot of health things down there, so when that guy gets killed, I'm gonna drop down. There we go. There we go. The clouds are gone. I knew that was gonna happen at some point. Come on, are you gonna drop anything? There's about five of them down there. I'm gonna have to research um, which ones drop it and how much they drop it. So if I don't get it now, then I've got to be guaranteed. No matter what happens, I've got to be guaranteed to get it next time. And then that means technically we can make the terror wave, which would be good. I mean, I would prefer obviously to get it now, but that's probably not gonna happen. No, my luck. So I mean, if you think about it. The one that we got, the sword that we got a few minutes ago, that wasn't really for this one. That was more to make up for the fact that we didn't get one last time. Which is kind of a problem. Every time the music changes, like, there we go. And so I keep thinking it's over, but now it is. Alright, let's kill you then, let me just get rid of all the rest of our plants, why not? It's all the plants need to die right now. Killed every single one of our plants, how do you feel? Plants hate me now. Right, let's see what riches I got from that. Okay, so we've got the Broken Hero Sword. Problem is, compared to before, when we got the Broken Hero Sword, we can make a cool sword out of it. Now, we can't do anything with it until we get another one. Because the sword that I can make now isn't as good as the one uh, that I've got already. So it's completely pointless. Um, it don't matter. I just need to remember how to make it now. We need to make a sword called the Excalibur. Just there. Can we make it right now? Okay, we can. And the true Excalibur. There we go. There you go. You can see there. That's the Terror Blade, but we need one more of these swords. And I believe this sword is rubbish compared to the other one. Let me look. Six, yeah, 69 compared to 80. Yeah, 90. So, that's why it's kind of pointless, but oh well. Anyway. Um, oh, that's all fucked. Okay, we'll sort that out. I need to sort them chests out. I keep saying it. Anyway. Now that's pretty much most of the video gone. Not for you guys. That's 19 minutes. Jeez. Yeah, so I'm definitely cutting this up for you guys, but that, that was 19 minutes. Like, that's what my, my recording's at so far. Oh well. But yeah, I'm gonna go underground and try and find a little wormy worm. I mean, I doubt I'm gonna find it. I did see, um, because I was, I've never defeated, um, Duke Fishrun before. I've never seen how to spawn it in. I've never attempted to figure it out. Um, so I had to look it up a little bit. But what you need to do is you need to get truffle worms and then fish with them, which I've never done. I've never done fish neither. Um, but you need to get truffle worms and then bring them. Well, we need to find them in the other underground truffle place. The only problem is they're very rare. Then again, from the picture that I saw, it didn't look like they were very rare, but I don't know. We'll see. I can't really tell in this game anymore what's rare and what's just luck. It's just kind of difficult. And back down here we go. Oh, I'm not going to touch that plant thing up there. I probably should to get more keys, but oh well. Right, where do we need to go? Okay, we need to go really deep first. We've been coming down this place too many times. I feel like we need a break from here. Is that another one? Remember when, remember when we were trying to farm on these plants for a whole video and we couldn't find one? And I just found two right next to each other. That's just, just stupid. We don't need to bother about the turtles anymore. The only boss that we could do with defeat in multiple times would be the original three um, mechanical bosses and also Gollum. But I'm... <laughs> you've seen my terrible... Um, mishaps with Gollum, so that's kind of a worry to defeat that again. 
but yeah. The only reason why is because Gollum drops um, these shell things that we can make into some more powerful armor. To be honest, I don't, I don't like the armor compared to the one that I've got already. I like my turtle armor because it does damage um, when you're not playing. But it, it is more um, defense overall. So I don't know what's better. I don't know if to have better defense overall or to have better defense um, a lot more. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. It's difficult to phrase it. It's just easier this one, too. When you when you just look in your inventory or something, you can kill something without even bothering about it. Because they'll get to take damage, obviously. How do we get into this place? Oh, there we go. Now, I don't think I've ever seen a truffle worm in this game. Apart from obviously on the wiki when I searched it up, but I have not a clue on how to go about getting one. So this can be fun. I remember when I saw it, they said that you can make like a flat area. And then you should place background walls to make it seem like a mushroom biome. And that will help it out. Then they come crawling along this bit here. They also said if you see them, you have to be careful because they bore underground or something like that. If I remember correctly. My inventory is a complete and not a mess. Oh, I already put the stars up the tree. Forgot about that. I want to get rid of that. It's a bit dark here, isn't it? Do we have any light? No, we don't. At least it's not ridiculously dark. Right. I'm going to make some... Actually, I'm going to grab some more mushrooms. Probably should have got some from home, actually. I need to make some background wall. Because in the picture that I saw, it had background walls everywhere. So I'm going to try doing it with background walls, see if I get anywhere. I mean, I doubt it. I mean, I think all this video is going to be is just me, you seeing me uh, get another, that sword and everything from the solar eclipse. But the plan was to do this and get this all set up. But I don't know how long this is going to take, because I feel like this is going to be really quick to do. we we'll just clear these out a bit. Because it's technically more of a jungle here. Go. The thing is, I don't know how much space we need for these things. In the picture, it's not very clear because I don't know if it means like all it was was just a picture of like a row of dirt with stuff on it down here, a row of dirt with stuff on it up here, and then just the blue stuff in the, the blue background all in between. That's what I don't know. Yes, yeah, enough for me to do that. Yeah, uh, we'll get rid of that. Oh, I said get rid of that. There we go. I'm going to put this over here so we don't disturb the worms. Even though we're probably going to disturb them anyway. Need to make background wall, the mushroom one. That'll do. Go away, we don't need you. Go. And this is what we need to do. We got nowhere near enough, have we? No, we haven't. Well, that's great. Because then apparently what you can do is you put um, mud along the top of here as well. So we can try and set up kind of like a farm, I guess. We're only going to need to use it probably once. There we go. And then... And there. And there. And then apparently, we wait. And you can just wait for stuff to start spawning in. I doubt this is going to work. I mean, I've never seen one. I don't even know. I know what it looks like because I've seen a picture of it, but... Um, I don't know how long this is going to take or what. So, I might need some help on this, but I don't know. We'll see. What I'm going to do out of video is I'm going to... Go away. What I'm going to do out of video is I'm going to uh, get some more mushrooms to make some background wall. And make this place look exactly like how it did in the picture that I saw. So if any of you guys have seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. But um, I'll make it look a bit more like it. But other than that, I don't know what else I can do here. So most of this video is definitely going to be the solar eclipse, but... Oh well. I apologise for that. Oh wait. I will cut the solar eclipse down as much as I can, obviously, because you've seen it all before and I don't want to make you see it over and over again. But, yeah, I don't know. I can't really do much else apart from wait, so... Because what I'm supposed to do is worms will just start spawning. And you've got to be really quick, otherwise they disappear, because they go underground, apparently. Obviously, with me yet to see one, I don't really know. And I'll also fill this area up with dirt a bit, just to make it seem a bit more like it's actually covered in mushroom stuff. So, that's the thing to uh, figure out for the next video. 
You'll probably see me back down here again, either with some worms. If I if I do see some worms, I will grab them. Because I don't know how much chance they have to spawn, honestly. So if I find some worms, then I probably will get them out of video. But if I don't, then you'll see me next video. Either with them or just about to get them. So yeah, I apologize that this video is basically exactly the same as the last one, apart from the ending. But that's not really my fault. It's ridiculously lucky, but it's not really my fault. Um so yeah. Hopefully next video, um, we can get some worms. I don't know if we'll try and defeat the boss. I don't, we'll probably have a go at it, but I don't know what it needs. Um, so we can have a go, but I, I guess, I don't know. But um, that's all I can really say for now. Next video, you're also probably going to see that um, all the Christmas decorations and everything are gone. So I'm probably going to take them out, out of video. Because obviously, Christmas is kind of over now, unfortunately. But yeah. Um, that's all to see in the next video. So that's another. Thank you very much for watching. And see you later. Goodbye.